Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Jay Dorena. So today we've got something special for you. Rebecca and I are teaming up on this video to give you guys some early morning scares. Did someone say Rebecca? Hello, Che. Hey, Rebecca, how's it going? Good. I was gonna say, how's your day? But you asked me first. Um. Oh yeah, my day's been pretty good. It's just been chill. We're working here at Most Amazing Top Ten. Doing it's because it's stuff. the daytime and not the nighttime. But the nighttime's a scary place. Yes, it is. Super scary, and we got a whole bunch of scary videos for you about it. Yes, right? Yes. yes. Okay. By the end of this video, you're gonna have so much trouble falling asleep because Rebecca and I are bringing today's list of top ten scary occurrences that happened at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so Shay, when was the last time that you stayed up until 3 a.m.? Oof, probably like a few nights ago. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, with, with some friends doing bad things. Oh. oh. I want to know when you guys last stayed up till 3 a.m. and when you stayed up that late. Did you see anything weird? Did you see anything weird? Um, no, just my friends. Fair. That's it. Yeah. Fair. Guys, make sure you stick around for the whole video and leave something in the comments because me and Rebecca want to know what you guys thought of this team up. Also, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also, follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Instagram and Facebook. It's a great way to get to know myself and the other hosts Yay. a little bit better. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. Let's do it. 3 a.m. Doctors say the body's at low tide, the soul is out, the blood moves slow. You're the nearest to dead you'll ever be, save from dying. Sleep is a patch of death, but at three in the morn, full wide eyed staring is living death. And wasn't it true? He had read somewhere more people die in hospitals than at any other time. Yes, I'm starting off this list with a scary 3am quote from Ray Bradbury from Something Wicked This Way Comes. And Something Wicked This Way Comes, at number 10, we have The Witching Hour. Have you ever wondered why 3am is such a traditionally scary time? My friends, let me tell you about The Witching Hour. In folklore, the hour between 3am and 4am was considered a time for witches, demonic entities and ghosts. They would roam free at their most powerful. Ah. Also known as the devil's hour, the time of night was thought to be a peak of supernatural activity, possibly because nobody was awake to pray. Any woman caught outside at this time of night, especially in the middle ages, was arrested on suspicion of witchcraft, unless they could provide a good reason. Simply roaming free because you felt like it was not a good enough reason in the dark ages, and many of the women who were caught out at night were executed for witchery. There may actually be a scientific explanation for all of the bad juju discussed in the witching hour folklore. It seems that, oddly, ghostly experiences and apparitions tend to happen between the hours of 2am and 4am, which includes the dreaded witching hour. It seems at this point of the night, the amount of melatonin in the body peaks, which could be a reason for the ominous occurrences. That or witches. Number 9. Joe's Paranormal TV If you have a paranormal YouTube show and you go looking through the woods at night, you're pretty much asking for trouble. You can't complain about it. It's like eating deep fried cheese and then complaining that you're constipated. It comes with the territory. Well on Joe's Paranormal TV, one night he decided to go see what a creepy stretch of woods had to offer at 3am and it didn't disappoint. While Joe is trekking through, we hear some strange metallic banging at what sounds Sounds like voices. It could be some friendly campers, or it could be a crazy metal pot man letting you know he's about to murder you and then cook you in the pot he was just banging with. Then he hears what sounds like a baby crying. What the f if that wasn't enough, he comes to a clearing of what looks like a bunch of broken trees set in symbols. So this could be witches or a bear that was using them as a back scratcher. Either way, you probably shouldn't be hanging around the woods late at night if you want to keep all your limbs attached to your body. Okay, so is anyone up for an urban legend? Next at number 8, we have the little baby ogre. I don't feel good about baby ogres. Behold this footage from a famous Japanese Kleenex tissue commercial. It's a fine day, people open windows, they leave their houses just for a short while. They walk by the grass and they look at the grass, they look at the sky. It's going to be a fine night tonight. Okay, 
child ogre. Creepy singing, sure, sure, sure. But this is Japan, land of the eel ice cream and game shows such as Happy Pie Hell. This is normal, right? Wrong. The story goes that after this commercial aired in 1986, everybody involved died or met a horrible end. Isn't dying meeting a horrible end? For example, the woman in the commercial was supposed to have birthed a baby of her own, but it turned out she died in childbirth. Further urban legends say that if you watch the video at 3am, the footage will warp and you'll become cursed. Some say it's 12am, but honestly, one person's 12 is another person's 3, literally if you live on different coasts of America. So why is it cursed? Well apparently that little ditty she is singing is alleged to be a German folklore song with the lyrics in German saying, die, die, everybody's cursed, everyone will be killed. Good. Somebody allegedly caught the video changing and warping on camera. Have a watch. It's a fine day. People open windows, they leave the house. Oh, sorry, I might have cursed you there. What's a little curse between friends? At number seven, we've got Tony McClusey's black bag. Sometimes it's the people you think you can trust that turn out to be the most dangerous. Yeah, next time someone close to you tells you that they'll love you and always be there for you, be like, oh, I'm on to you. I'm not getting my eyelid stolen from the skin bandit. Tony McClusey was caught on camera late at night pulling what looks like to be a black garbage bag out from his car and taking it to a place to be disposed. Now what is in this big old garbage bag? Was it some biohazardous chemicals that needed to be disposed of very properly? Or maybe it was a wedding gift that he just couldn't bear to look at anymore after his divorce. How about his lovely sister Gemma? Tony McClusey chopped up his sister and stuffed her into garbage bags before secretly trying to dump her body. Luckily he's very dumb and got caught on CCTV camera and sentenced to 20 years in prison for his horrible crimes. Apparently this was all over an argument. So next time you catch your roommate eating your Cheez-Its, maybe you should just let it go. You don't know this, but when Che walks off after doing his bit, he clicks. I click? Yeah. Every time? Every time. <laughs> Coming into number six, we have The Neighbor. There is an Ask Reddit thread which poses the question, what's the scariest thing that's happened to you at 3am? There are some pretty intense responses, some including like ghosty woasty stuff. But when I think about the reality of being met with some situations, reading this truly terrified me. River Tiberis wrote this last year and got 1.1 thousand upvotes. They wrote, this happened a year ago, my family was all asleep at 3am when I awoke to scratching at the front door. I peeked through the window to find a beaten bloody young woman sitting cross-legged on my front step, staring back at me. She was looking me in the eye. It was my neighbour. Her left eye was swollen shut. She had a laceration on her head. I opened the door and tried to get her to come inside. She was extremely drunk and hardly wearing anything on this cold winter night. She was babbling and not making any sense. I called 911 but when she realised I was calling for help, she screamed in my face, climbed over my chain link fence and flopped to the ground. She ran down the street, flailing her arms, bleeding and screaming. I thought her boyfriend had beat her up, they hadn't been known for domestic violence issues. I came to find out that earlier that day she'd got rip roaringly drunk and then trip and hit her head on concrete. The laceration on her head actually had stitches in it already, which is why I couldn't see them in the dark. When she got home from the ER, she stole her roommate's whiskey and pounded most of the bottle. She then just went berserk. Jeez, that was a difficult read, poor girl. Honestly, it sounds like she was in a really bad place. It must have been even more terrifying to A, hear scratchings on the door, but then open it up and know the person who turns up out there. And seeing them like not acting like themselves like that, acting possessed, that's pretty scary. I really wonder how her story played out, but like, I hope she got better. Number five, we got bad choice Noah's bad choice. I mean, it shouldn't at all be a surprise that someone named bad choice Noah made it onto our list. That's like a guy who's named Fall Off skateboard Pete being in a fail video. It's just gonna happen. Well, one night Noah decided that he was gonna try and feed his large collection of snakes at 3am with the lights off, only lighting the area with a small flashlight. He did this because he thought maybe he would catch something paranormal on camera. I 
guess the logic is that ghosts like snakes or something. While doing this, one of his snakes almost bites his hand and then escapes from its cage. This could have led to Snakes in a Dark Room, which is the horror sequel to Snakes on a Plane that the public has been begging for. I don't think he ran into any ghosts, but being in a dark room and nearly getting bitten by a massive snake and then having it set loose without Sam Jackson there to save you is enough to make it onto this list. Coming into number four, this actually truly scares me. We have sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is so nasty. Landon and I recently did a list where we mentioned it and honestly, I think that those of us who have ever experienced it can all agree that it is the scariest thing to deal with. Seconds feel like hours and you're literally stuck, unable to move. Sometimes if your face is in your pillow, you'll feel like you can't breathe and you think this is going to be your life forever. Honestly, it's really horrible. On scanning the internet, it actually seems like oddly enough, a lot of people experience sleep paralysis at, you guessed it, 3am. While we have a scientific explanation for the horror, a lot of cultures believe that the phenomenon is caused by ghosts. Yes, ghosts. They believe that a malevolent spirit sits on your chest at night while you're sleeping and literally tries to suffocate you. The legend is most prevalent in Cambodia, but Thailand have their own version called Fiam. They believe that the Fiam don't attack women, so a surefire way to combat the ghost and keep yourself safe at night is to wear lipstick to bed. Do you hear that, Che? Scientists will tell you that sleep paralysis happens when you wake up in the middle of REM sleep, the deep part of sleep the part that usually happens around 3am, which coincidentally is the witching hour. So, science or ghost, you decide. And now we come to number three on the list and we got Mo, Sarji and the old train station. I feel bad for these YouTubers that have channels that are all about terrifying places. It becomes your livelihood. You literally need to go into some haunted places, possibly filled with demons that wanna eat your lips just so you can make some money. I think I would rather be one of those guys that clean dog poop out of parks. Well, unfortunately for Mo, this is what his viewers crave and it led him to walking down an abandoned train station at 3 a.m. While doing this, a bunch of super normal things happen, like the sounds of a crying little girl. And at points, there even seem to be small, child-sized handprints on the windows. Is this because kids like to play around old abandoned train stations? Or because there's a scary little child ghost that's waiting to steal your body so she can live once again? I don't know and frankly, I'm not gonna find out. The only mystery that I'm gonna solve is who's this season's bachelor. I love trash TV. All right, I started this list by talking about witches, so I wanted to end my part with something magical at number two. We have Dobby on CCTV. Dobby is a free elf, had to say it. This was quite a recent 3am occurrence and it looked like Dobby the house elf or a tiny creepy troll. I'm gonna go with house elf though because even though they're both a little bit creepy, one can make puddings float and I think that's kind of cool. So 3am Dobby went viral in June 2019 when Twitter user JB tweeted this footage with the caption, a lady posted this and said she saw this on her home camera this morning, very early hours. What do you all think it is? The internet was quick to respond and say that it is the late great house elf. Dobby. Dobby's dead though, so this is some like reincarnation stuff going on. In just one week, the footage got 31 million views. The footage was shot on CCTV camera outside Vivian Comas's home and as of yet, doesn't have an explanation. It seems like the footage has been declared as authentic, so it isn't doctored. Some say that the footage is of a kid in a funny hat, but like, why are these kids out at witching hour? Unless, you know, they're little demons. I think a lot of kids are little demons, so I'm gonna go with that. And finally, we have number one with Lou Rock at the Yellow House. Honestly, if you ever wanted to check out a haunted house, this would be the way to do it. Wait for a streamer to go into one with a live stream. That way, you can see all the spooky stuff in moment. Nothing's edited. And if the streamer gets attacked by a ghoul, you can spam F in the chat. Lou Rock decided to do just this. He went with some of his crew to go check out a famously haunted house known as the Yellow House. While inside, I'm sure you can imagine some weird stuff started happening. First, he entered a room with a bunch of clothes hangers which started moving on their own. Then, he walked into a space and heard what seemed to be a glass falling off a table, but no one else was in there with them. Then, he heard the noise again. Then he also came across a rope that looked like it was used to hang someone upside down by their feet. There was also a room that had all the drywall busted out, like it's haunted by a ghost named Kyle. In the end, Lou gets pretty spooked and skedaddles out of there, so he 
can live to live stream another day. I don't know how I feel about 3 a.m. anymore, Che. No. <laughs> it's a scary time. Yeah, I don't think you can catch me there too much longer. Apart from with your friends. Yeah, a couple more times with my friends. We'll try it out. Where we'll do the research for you to see if it's good. Safety in numbers. I think so. Yeah, that whole thing. Anyways, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Like I mentioned before, make sure you guys hit up the comments and let us know what you guys thought of this team up. As usual, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Also follow Most Amazing Top 10 on Instagram and Facebook. It's a great way to get to know myself and the other hosts a little bit better. Until next time, I've been Shay Dorena. I've been Rebecca Felgate. And you can just catch me sleeping at 3 a.m. You'll catch me witching. Mm. I'm just joking. I'll be sleeping too. Bye. Bye.